I'm sorry. My son got the fever. I'm gonna go home early. Oh, no, of course. Hope he feels better, dear. Don't worry about work. Take care, okay? Thank you. I owe you guys. Our company is pretty small, but everyone's so nice here. I really like this place. All right, let's get back to work. Can someone handle this account? I'll do it. Okay, Odajima. Here you go. I'll do it. Odajima is a country boy. He's so slow at everything. I'll take care of it. No worries. Oh, okay. Nishikawa. She's always doing this to me. I might be from the countryside, but so what? What was her problem? Everyone else is really nice, but uh, I don't know. I just don't get along with her. Maybe she stands out in a bad way because everyone else is so nice. Whatever. One day. How about this year's company retreat? The president said he wanted to go somewhere nice and quiet. What about the countryside then? What do you think, Orajima? You're a country boy. You know any good spots? Huh? Uh, sure. I know a few places. Where are you from again? Um, uh, prefecture? <laughs> Let's go there then. Wait, your family owns a hotel, right? Why don't we stay there? Huh? Really? Seriously? But I bet it's really old. Is it big enough for all of us? Uh, if you make a reservation ahead of time, sure. Sounds good. Let's see if there's an opening then. Sounds good! Can't wait to visit your family's hotel, Odajima! Sir? Alright then. Can you make the reservations? Okay! <laughs> Can't wait. I bet the place is really old and dirty. This is gonna be fun. Whatever you say. There better not be any bugs. If I find one, I'm leaving. Of course. Company retreat. Welcome! Welcome. Wow! This place is huge! Yeah, I looked it up online yesterday. It's one of the biggest and oldest hotels in the area. I guess it's pretty famous around here. I had no idea. I don't travel often, so... Odajima, can I ask you a question? Yeah? You're the oldest son in the family, right? Yeah? So, someday, you'll be in charge of this place? Uh, I guess. My dad still runs this place, but someday... <laughs> so if I go out with him, this place will be mine! <laughs> Welcome home, Haruto! Hey! I've never seen you like this. You're all grown up. Huh? Oh, right. Yeah, I kind of miss the old you, though. You're a city boy now. No, don't say that. I'm doing all of this for us, Shiori. I know. Thank you. Oh, is that your girlfriend? Huh? Oh, uh... She's my fiancé! Oh, I see. Yeah. I basically grew up with her. She's been helping out my parents for years now. I get to work in the city because of her. Ha <laughs> ha I see! I'm happy for you both. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll keep a close eye on him. I'll make sure he doesn't cheat on you. What? I'd never do that! <laughs> After the trip. Odajima, you want some cookies? Huh? What the? She's never done this to me before. Did she make these herself? You're from a wealthy family, so you're probably used to eating good food, but... I'm sure you'll like it. Try it! Um, sorry. I can't accept this. Sorry. If you like it, maybe we can serve it to the guests at the hotel. Huh? Well, if you want... 
What the? What the hell is going on? She's acting so weird. Odajima. Odajima. What the? Why is she following me? I don't get it. Odajima, you okay? Huh? Nishikawa. She says she's gonna quit soon. She says she's getting married. Oh, uh, okay. What's this got to do with me? She says she's marrying you to become the next owner of that hotel. <laughs> Wait! What? Yeah. She didn't tell you? Hold on! What? It's not that easy! I don't know the details, but she said you basically said yes already. You're kidding me, right? Odajima, I heard about Nishikawa. Is it true? What? No! Ugh, everybody already knows? I gotta stop her from spreading the rumors! I'm getting married soon! She's out of control! I gotta do something! Fast! Urujima, wanna walk me home? If you want, we can. Nishikawa, I'm not dating you! I never will! Stop this right now! Please! I'm not gonna say it again! The next day... Ugh, what's his problem? Wait, I know! I'll go see his mother and get her to like me! Once I get his mother in my pockets, he'll have no choice but to marry me! <laughs> the next day... Hello! Wait, you were here a few days ago, right? Yeah, I work with Haruto Odajima in the city. Is the landlady here? Uh, Miss Nishikawa? I'm sorry, she's not in today. If you'd like, I can take a message. You? You're just an employee here, right? No thanks. Is your supervisor here? Uh, actually, I'm the vice landlady. Huh? Do you need a room, or are you here about Haruto? What? No, I mean, we're going out. He's my boyfriend. Oh, is that so? What's his favorite dish, then? What? Uh, he likes everything I make for him. Like what? Uh, pork cutlets, omelets, cake. <laughs> Good one! He's allergic to eggs, so... But you knew that, right? What? I'm guessing you're not here for a room, so I'll be blunt. I grew up with Haruto. I'm his fiance. I know everything about him. I also know about everything you've done to him. Needless to say, I know his mother, the landlady, pretty well. So what exactly did you want with her again? If you want to talk to her, you gotta go through me. If we're done here, get the hell out of my face. Nishikawa quit after that. It was a pretty small company, but nobody knew why. Well, except for me. My fiancé told me everything, so... Shorty is really cute, but she can be pretty relentless, so... Oh well. Whatever. I'm just glad she's gone. Time to get back to work. I'm Kaito Kido. I'm a 22-year-old college student. See you tomorrow! Good work today! See ya! Bye! You're going that way? It's pretty dark. Oh, uh, yeah. You should take the main street. It's past nine already. Oh, I'll be fine. I'm a guy, so... Oh, right. You're scared of the dark. I forgot. Thanks for your concern, but I'll be fine. If I need help, I'll call you. Don't call me! Call the cops first! It was always dark out after work. I rarely saw anyone on this street. Maybe a motorcycle here and there, but it was a pretty quiet street. Boss is always so worried about everyone. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What was that? Ghost? No, it's a person. He seems kind of scary. Is she hurt? Are you okay? No, help me. What happened? You get beat up or something? No. A hit and run? 
no. Someone trip you? I fell, okay? Stop making a big deal out of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh, my foot hurts like hell. Can you help me up? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. This place is so quiet, I thought I was going to be here until morning. You live nearby? I'm not going home. Huh? I got in a fight with my parents. Take a hint. How was I supposed to know that? Ugh, this is so lame. My bike is totaled and I'm banged up. Ugh, screw this. So, where are you going to go? Ugh, no idea. Can I go to your house? Huh? My house? How old are you? You live with your parents? I'm 22. I live by myself. Good. Then take me to your house. Ugh, my feet are killing me. Okay, okay. So I decided to take her back to my place. After that, I went back out to get her bike. I had to carry it by hand all the way to my house. Thanks for this, man. Yeah, the bike is downstairs, so how's your feet? I don't think it's broken or anything, but uh, got any bandages? Sure, but maybe you should go see a doctor, just in case. The bike was damaged pretty bad, so... I'm fine. The bike absorbed the impact, I guess. I'll be fine, okay? But what if you're not? You should go see a doctor, just in case. Ugh, I, I don't have my insurance card with me, okay? I'll be fine. But... I'm just worried about you. I know you got in a fight with your parents, but maybe you should ask them to pick you up. No, no, no! Oh, I see. Why do you hate your parents so much? Are they gonna send you to boarding school or something? What? No, why would you think that? Look, I'm 19. I'll be 20 in two weeks, and once that happens, I gotta marry this guy my parents picked out for me. You mean like an arranged marriage? I had no idea people still did that. Do your parents owe money to someone, or...? No, it's complicated. Anyways, I'm Sierra. You are... Kaito. Well, Kaito, I told them I didn't want to get married yet, but they just wouldn't listen. So that's why you ran away. I didn't run away from anyone. I don't do that. Okay, but we still got to figure something out. You can sleep here tonight. I'll go crash at a friend's house. What? You're just going to leave me here? Stay here and help me figure this out. I need all the help I can get. Uh, okay. Um, oh, I know. Why don't you tell them you already had a boyfriend? I see. That's not a bad idea. They said they'll find some for me if I was single. So if I tell them I already got a boyfriend, hey, this might work. You should probably introduce him to them, though. That way it'll look more real. All right. Come with me, then. Uh, sure, I guess. So the next day, Sarah and I went over to her house. This place is huge! They even got maids here! Family must be loaded! Are you Sarah's boyfriend? You in college? Yes, I'm Kaito Kido. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, I see. So, once you graduate, you'll marry my daughter and take over the family business? Huh? Wait, Sarah, you didn't tell him about this? Oh, I forgot. Kaido, as you can see, she's our only child. So, once you marry her, I want you to come live with us. Uh, Dad, maybe we should talk to him about this some other time. I just brought him over today to say hi. No, this is important. I know. Why don't we fill out the marriage papers right now? Huh? And what are you saying? What? You two been dating for a while, right? You're engaged, aren't you? You're serious about my daughter, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. It was so scary. I signed the marriage papers on the spot. Sarah, what now? Uh, too late to go back now. We'll figure it out. Wait. You're gonna marry me? For real? What choice do I have? If I tell him the truth, who knows what he'll do? What? I'm sorry I got you into this, but I'll make you happy. So please, stay with me. Okay, I guess there's no going back now. I actually love spending time with her. Maybe we were meant for each other after all. Didn't expect to get married like this, but 
I got a feeling everything is gonna work out. I'm Riku Janai. I'm 25. One night I was relaxing my room when the doorbell rang. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? Yes. I'm sorry, I know it's late. I'm Nagata, I live next door. Oh, uh, hi. What's going on? Um, I know this is kind of random, but you're usually home during the day, right? Yeah, but I have a job. I just work from home. Of course. Um, have you noticed anything weird recently? What do you mean? Like, did you see anyone breaking into my room? Huh? Uh, no. What happened? Well, I think someone's been sneaking into my room. What? I leave at 7 a.m. and I come home at 7 p.m., so there's plenty of time. This one time, I came home and all the laundry was folded. Maybe you've got a stalker. I thought so too, but I'm single and I don't know any women my age, so... Hmm. I usually listen to music when I work, so I'm not sure, but... Could you keep an eye out if it's not too much trouble? Uh, sure, I guess. I'll turn down the music and see if I can hear anything. Thank you! Thank you so much! Sure, sure. No worries. So I started paying attention to the noise coming from the room next door. Sounds like he's getting ready for work. He's gone. He works from 9 to 6 and usually comes home around 7. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding, but... What if it is a stalker? Kinda scary. Two days went by, but nothing. But then on the third day, I heard someone unlocking the door. No way! I think they went inside. What the? It's a girl. She's cute. But that doesn't matter. She's breaking in. Hey, who are you? You don't live here. What? I'm a, uh, his girlfriend. He said I could come in. Who are you? You can't just come in like this. I live next door. My neighbor asked me to keep watch while he was out. He said he was single, so you're clearly lying. I'm calling the cops. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on. Look, I I'm not his girlfriend. I, I lied. I'm sorry. So you're a thief? A stalker? Either way, I'm calling the cops. No, I'm his sister. What? Look, here's my ID, see? I'm Minori Nagata, see? Oh, but then why are you doing this? Why are you doing this without telling him? Well, I'm his sister, so it's not like I'm stealing. I'm actually cleaning up for him. But you still can't break in like this. You should tell him. He was really worried. Okay. He kind of reminds me of my brother. We went to a nearby cafe after that. Let's kill some time until your brother comes back. Don't want to wait in my room. That's just awkward, so... Okay. So, um, you guys fighting or what? What's going on here? Nothing. And no, he's always been really nice to me. Then she started telling me about her brother. He used to play basketball back in high school. He was the captain in 11th grade. He was so good. She sure loves her brother. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, he even led his team to nationals. He threw this buzzer beater in the very first match. It was amazing. Really? I went to nationals too when I was in high school. How old is your brother? 24. What? I'm 25! Maybe I played with him. You played basketball too? Yeah, I was a captain. I see. That's why he kind of looks like him. His team came in second place. I thought that was really impressive, but he was so upset. Wait, did he go to Sekafushi High? Yeah! Wow! I played for Meiseka High! I played him in the finals! Wait. So you guys won nationals then? Wow, look at the time. Your brother will be back any minute. Let's go. Oh, okay. When we got there, Nagata was just about to walk into his room. Oh, Minori, what are you doing with my neighbor? Um, turns out it was her. She was the one sneaking into your room. I'm sorry. What? Why didn't you tell me? Nagata, let's settle down. Why don't we go inside? Come on. We all went inside and sat down. So, you used the spare key I gave to mom and broke in. Yeah, I've been really stressed with schoolwork and I just wanted to relax, you know? Your room is so comfortable. Why didn't you tell me? I was terrified. I'm sorry. 
Good thing it wasn't some stranger. Yeah, but... Oh, and guess what? Turns out we kind of know each other. She told me about how you played basketball in high school. We played in the finals at nationals. What? For real? He seemed really excited about that. By the end, he was thanking his sister for bringing us closer together. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, he's not even mad at me anymore. <laughs> yeah, your brother sure loves basketball. You're so kind. Oh, I think I kind of like you. Huh? I said I kind of like you. <laughs> I think you might be the one for me. You sure about this? Yeah, I've never felt this way about anyone. I'm sure. Uh, okay, I'm flattered, but we just met each other. Maybe we can start out as friends. Of course, yay! She's got a cute smile. So I started spending more time with Minori and her brother. A few months later, we started dating. So now I had a girlfriend and a new friend. Glad everything worked out. My name is Harutawada. I'm a high school sophomore, living a modest life, but still content. Well, at least I can go to high school. There are people who can't even afford to go even if they want to. I'll just graduate from high school and then work somewhere while making a living. Hey, Wada. Can I talk to you for a second? Um, what is it, Kashiwabara-san? You had the lowest grade in the first year of sophomore year, didn't you? You're not very smart, are you? Maybe you should go to cram school. Oh, we're too poor to afford cram school. What? You can't study and on top of that you can't even go to cram school? How pathetic. I feel so bad for you, it's funny! <laughs> Her name is Yuriko Kashiwabara, and we're in the same class. She's not only beautiful, but is said to be the number one genius of our high school, known for her exceptional grades from the national mock exam from freshman year. However, she's quite mean to me. Um, is that all? Huh? Of course I didn't come all the way here just to tell you that. Your IQ must be really low. Because of you, the class average lowers, which frustrates me to no end. That's why I need you to solve these problems by tomorrow. Uh, all of this? Yes. I've even given you an explanation in my own words, so don't let it go to waste. What? The printout that Kashiwabara-san gave me had a bunch of things I remember learning from last year. I feel like all of these are topics I gave up on because I couldn't keep up with the class. Unlike Kashiwabara-san, I'm not smart. So I knew there was no point in trying, but... Since I was afraid of what she would say if I didn't do anything at all, I gave the printouts a go. Huh? I feel like I'm solving them. Wait, were these problems this easy? The next day... Hey, how are the printouts from yesterday? Uh, I tried my best, but sorry, I couldn't finish the end. Huh, well... I think you did pretty well for yourself. Just keep working from where you left off yesterday. Do you have any questions about the content? No questions about the content, but why are you being so nice to me? What? I'm not being nice to you! I'm just trying to crush you by making you learn the hard way because watching you with your low IQ and academic ability pisses me off! You should study harder and cry about the lack of your intelligence! What? She's trying to crush me? Even with her added explanations, that's easy to understand, even for someone like me. Even after that, Kashiwabara-san kept handing me printouts. She would teach the problems I couldn't solve as just she turned into a demon. Why can't you understand such a simple problem? Do it like this, then that! Uh, I see? I can understand, but also can't. Repeat until you get it! I'll prepare 100 practice problems for you right now! Different day. So, let's go. Bang Bang 1588, you're hunting swords. If you're bad at memorizing numbers, try to think of a method that works for you. You're not a chimpanzee. I wish I was right now. A different day. Hey, what's the formula of the volume of the sphere? Let's see. There was some kind of way to remember that formula. Four pies in cubes or something like that? Are you stupid? It's four thirds pi r cubed. What have you learned? Kashiwabara-san pushed me every day. As a result, my grades continued to improve. By my junior year, I had become one of the better students in the class. Well, today is the first day of your senior year in high school. 
Next year, you will have to take the entrance exams. So keep your spirits up and enjoy the last days of high school. Exams. I guess it's none of my business as I have no money to go to university even if I wanted to. That's what I thought, but there was somebody that thought otherwise. Here, these are today's printouts. Um, Kashiwabara-san? I'm not the worst in my grade anymore, and I'm not lowering the class average, so there's no need for me to do these, right? Huh? How can you say that with such a false sense of academic ability? The university entrance exams are not that easy, you know. But I can't even go to university even if I wanted to. Do you want to go or not? Forget about being able to afford it for a second. I'm asking you if you even want to go to university and study. I... Until Kashiwabara-san taught me how to study, I had given up everything. Thinking that I was too stupid to go to university, but with my current academic ability, I know I can pass the entrance exams. I just recently realized how much fun it is to study. I'm sure I'll be able to learn a lot more when I go to college. I want to, but I can't. I want to study. All right, then I'll keep making prints. While you're still in high school, I'll give you a lifetime's worth of study. Then, at the end of the year, why don't you just take the exam just for a celebration? Ashiwabara-san, you're actually pretty kind. You idiot! No, I'm not! I'm teaching you just because it helps my own learning! I'm just using you! I'm starting to think she's kind of cute lately. The printouts made by Kashiwabara-san were near the level of the entrance exams for top universities. Exam preparation at our school wasn't this difficult, and since I was unable to buy reference books or go to cram school, I could only get questions of this difficulty thanks to Kashiwabara-san. Each and every day, I kept solving Kashiwabara-san's problems, and as a result, my teacher told me something surprising. Wada, you can aim for a scholarship, you know? You said you can't go to college because of financial difficulties. But if you get a tuition waiver, you have a chance. You could also consider the scholarship system. I have a chance to go to university? Yeah, it's all up to you though. From that day on, I studied like there was no tomorrow. If there was a possibility, I wanted to take that chance. My entire life could be at a turning point. With this in mind, I spent every waking moment studying. And come March, I was accepted to the same college as Kashiwabara-san. You worked hard. And as opposed to me, you even got accepted with a scholarship. What a turnaround from the bottom of the class in sophomore year. That was brilliant. Thank you, Kashiwabara-san. Thanks to you, my life has changed. You are truly the genius of our school. Oh, come on. I'm not a genius. My grades were average until I started high school. I just happened to get better grades when I studied harder. A prodigy, then? I don't care about that. But isn't there something you want to say to me? Uh, oh, I need to thank you. Let's see. I don't know how to. No! You're supposed to ask me out! Why can't you figure out something as easy as that? Ah! P -p Please go out with me! I don't know what Kashiobara-san liked about me in the very beginning, and I will never know. But one thing I am sure of is that the reason she got involved with me in the first place was so that we could go to the same university. We are now dating while attending the same university. Moreover, to shave our living expenses, we decided to move in together. One day when I woke up, I found myself in a hospital bed. Huh? This is the hospital, right? What happened to me? Do you know your name? Mizuno Mizuki. Um, my head is kind of fuzzy, and I can't remember a lot of things. Why am I here? You collapsed in the office. Apparently, you were extremely exhausted. Company. I think I was working on something. I don't remember much. Your brain must be fatigued too. That is why you're temporarily having trouble remembering things. Please stay in the hospital for about two weeks and get some rest. I was admitted to the hospital without much information. And then a woman came to visit me. Misuna said, I came to visit you. Uh, huh? Oh, someone mentioned that your memory is a little fuzzy? I'm Hayakawa from the General Affairs Department of our company. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I can't remember. It's okay, it's okay, you're tired. Don't worry about it. 
It happens. I'll be here every day. If you need anything, just let me know. Hayakawa-san in the General Affairs Department was a cheerful person who laughed a lot. I was a little down with my memory being a little fuzzy, but when Hayakawa-san came to visit me, it cheered me up. Mizuna-san, I brought a book of crossword puzzles as you wished. Are you using it to pass the time? Oh, I thought if I did some brain training, my memory would come back quicker. Wow, you are really diligent, Mizuna-san. You should take it easy at a time like this. Um, Hayakawa-san, you're here every day, but is that alright with you? None of my family members seem like they'll be coming, so it does help a lot. Uh, Mizuna-san? Perhaps you don't have any relatives nearby. I checked your resume and other documents you submitted to the company. But columns that mention your parents or siblings were both left blank. I see. What was I like at the office before? You started working for the company two years ago. You worked until the last train every day, and sometimes stayed overnight at the office. You were really working hard, weren't you? What a sad life I've led. I wonder if there was any meaning to my life. What are you talking about? Of course there is! It's true that we are a black business, and you're a corporate slave who worked until you collapsed. However, new employees are quitting all the time, and without you, the company would not be able to survive. You are very helpful to the company, so please don't be hard on yourself. Getting praised for being a corporate slave. I was worried that you were going to break down sooner or later. Well, once you recover, let's not repeat the same thing again. Anyways, I will take care of you until you get your memory back. Let me know if you need anything else. Yes, thank you very much. I can't recall what kind of relationship I've had with Hayakawa-san up to this point. But I felt that she had been kind to me from before, and it warmed my heart. And just one week after the hospitalization, I started getting calls from the company. Mizuno-san! Are you still in the hospital? You just lost your memory, but you're still able to work, aren't you? Please discharge yourself from the hospital! Um, but they still told me to rest. I would like to have the data you had in your computer. Do you remember the password? If you can't, I'm screwed! Um, I feel like I can remember. How about typing Sekai no Fushigi? Wow, it worked! I'm just gonna look through the contents without your permission, okay? I mean, why are you password protecting your company computer in the first place? That's true. Why do I? Oh, that's because your boss messed around with your computer without permission and lost some data before. What? That's why I had a password. Your computer is a treasury of data. It was you who created the company's database. Although you had to work overtime every day to complete that on top of your regular work. I see. I was really a worker bee, wasn't I? Hey, Mizuno! Check these documents! Chief, Mizuno-san is still hospitalized! Hmm? Are you Hayakawa-san from the General Affairs Department? I came all the way here after work since Mizuno seems to be taking it easy. I... I'll do what I can. I didn't remember the chief's face, but I could understand the contents of the documents. I still had memory of the actual work, but nothing about the relationships between my co-workers. This made me think I was able to work, and the company started contacting me. Calls flooded my phone, demanding for data and documents. This finally made Hayakawa-san snap. That's enough! Don't you know Mizuna-san collapsed because of the company? If you continue to abuse Mizuna-san like this, he's really going to pass away next time! Um, Hayakawa-san... <sighs> I'm sorry for interrupting, but I couldn't hold it in. Are you okay? Won't things be awkward in the office after that? You're right. Should we just quit together then? I've been meaning to tell you, but I think you're a very dedicated and hardworking person. Therefore, I think you should work at a place that properly evaluates your abilities. Why don't you take advantage of losing your memory and make a fresh start? <laughs> you're so cool, Hayakawa-san. The day before I was discharged from the hospital, I resigned from the company along with Hayakawa-san. On the day of the discharge, Hayakawa-san took me home. Hmm, I don't really remember much of my own room either, which feels weird. I guess your memory never fully returned. Well, 
shouldn't you be glad to have forgotten about those painful days? You helped me a lot, Hayakawa-san. If it weren't for you, I would have been absolutely devastated. As you were there, always smiling by my side, I was able to stay positive even though my memories were vague. <laughs> was I of good service? Yes, to the point where I started liking you. <laughs> huh? What? Sorry about that. Saying something like that out of the blue. Uh, no, I was just flattered. Huh? I liked you even before you lost your memory. We were just getting to know each other. But then you forgot everything, so I was worried that we might not be so close anymore. May I continue to be your closest support? There's no reason to say no. And so Hayakawa-san and I decided to move in together, and we began our new lives with different jobs. I heard that after we both left, that black corporation collapsed. But I couldn't care less about that. I'm only interested in leading a happy life with Hayakawa-san from now on. I'm Takia Kawamura. Recently, things were going pretty well at work. Things have been so peaceful at work recently. You noticed that too? Yeah! Everyone used to be on edge, but things have changed. Yeah, I think it's all thanks to Nanase. Nanase? Yeah, that lady who joined us about a month ago? She's really good at this, I think. What? Her? I don't know. I don't even know what she's up to half the time. I think it's all thanks to Misono. She's so beautiful, you know? It's gotta be her. Oh, I don't know. I still think it's Nanase. She made a lot of things more efficient at the workplace. About a month ago, two new members joined her team. Nanase was the quiet type who usually kept to herself. And then there was Misono. She was nothing like Nanase. She wore a lot of makeup and was very social. But my colleague was right. Nanase didn't really stand out. Then, about a month later, something happened. Nanase, can you take care of these? Um, isn't that your job? Yeah, but I got other stuff I gotta do. <laughs> Come on, we're a team. Uh, okay. All right, then. Nanase, can you do these too? Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. I need it by tomorrow. A lot of people started dumping their workload on Nanase. Misono started doing it first, but the others are starting to do the same. She was forced to do other people's work almost every day. I had to say something. Nanase, let me help. Huh? Uh, oh, no. It's okay. I don't want to trouble you. It's fine. You can't do all of this on your own. Come on. Hey, Nanase, you know you can say no, right? You don't always have to say yes. If you've got time to spare, fine, but I know you've been working late. That's not good. Sometimes you just gotta say no, okay? Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Thank you. The next day, she tried to say no. I'm sorry, I just don't have the time right now. <laughs> what? But we're a team. Uh, you gotta help me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? But if I help you with your work, I won't have time to finish mine. Maybe you're just inefficient. Oh, that's not my problem. Hey, stop trying to unload your workload on Nanase. Do your job. Who do you think you are, anyways? Uh, what? What's your problem? It's Friday, okay? I got plans with my boyfriend. I need to go home when the bell rings. <laughs> but Nanase doesn't have any plans. I mean, look at her. There's no way she's got a boyfriend. <laughs> True. Yeah, I bet she's never had a boyfriend. What? But then, by that logic, if she has plans tonight, you'll back off? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Fine then. I'm taking her out to dinner tonight, so she can't help you. Oh, Kawamura. I'm sorry about earlier. Oh, no. 
why did you lie for me like that? You shouldn't have. It's fine, really. Don't worry about it. But I think everyone believed what I said, so wanna grab dinner tonight? Just for show? After that, we started having dinner together every Friday. Everyone thought we were going out, but we were just friends. But I didn't tell anyone that. Because as long as they thought we were dating, they didn't dump their workload on Nanase. Then one day, my colleague told me he was getting married to this woman. She was one of our clients. Man, I wonder how he pulled this off. The CEO from both companies are here. Look, I bet they're feeling a lot of pressure right now. I mean, what if they get a divorce, you know? Yeah, that'll just make things more awkward. Hey now, don't talk about that. This is a wedding. Hello, you all work with the groom, right? Sir, uh, yeah. Hello, sir. Oh, don't get up. Just going around saying hello. Anyways, how's my daughter doing? I hope she's doing well. Huh? Dad, you drunk already? I told you to keep quiet about this. Oh, come on now. I rarely get to see my employees. So, who's your boyfriend? Kawamura, right? Uh, I'm Kawamura, sir. Ha! So, you're gonna marry my daughter someday. Can't wait for the wedding. <laughs> Dad, stop! You're drunk! <laughs> Turns out Nanase's dad was the CEO. Everyone was shocked. And her father thought we were dating, so we didn't know what to do. After the wedding... I'm really sorry about my dad. Now everyone knows about everything. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was a wedding, so he probably just got excited. Oh dear, I'm so embarrassed. And he really thinks we're dating. How am I supposed to tell him that we're just friends? If you want, maybe we can start dating. For real. Seeing my colleague up there got me thinking. I realized I wanted to get married someday too, and... Well, you're kind of the first person I thought about. Oh, um... Me too, actually. So, uh... You want to give it a shot? Yeah. So we started dating. A few days later, I went to introduce myself to her father. People stopped dumping their workload on Nanase after that. In fact, people started realizing that she was really good at her job. Now everyone was asking her to give them advice. Nanase, uh, could you take a look at this? Of course. Misono cleaned up her act too. I'm glad everything worked out. I'm Riku Takamoshi, 17. I live in an old apartment with my dad. We were pretty poor. Uh, can't wait to turn 18 so I can get a real job. Wow, what the? Again? Uh, if I could, I would. Working my ass off to pay off our debt. Yo, I'm home. Dad, you drunk again? You know we're in debt, right? Ah, uh, shut up. I couldn't help it! I work my ass off every day for us, but he usually spends everything on booze. We're never gonna be able to pay off our debt. What am I supposed to do? I was thinking about giving up, but then something unexpected happened. What? A servant? Yeah, Mr. Ogane said he'll pay off our debt if you agree to work for his family. Not bad, right? Seriously? You're selling me to some rich guy? Is this even legal? Riku, right? <laughs> it's not like you got a choice. You're our servant from now on. Yep, you better do what you're told. We won't bite, just think of it like a new job. Later, son! So my dad sold me off to some rich family. Hey, what are you so surprised about? Ugh, come on, you stink. Here's some soap. Go take a shower. Do something about that smell. I couldn't shower yesterday, but do I really smell? Man, this soap smells so good. Wow. Ah, that felt nice. I feel like a completely new person. 
Why are you still wearing that crap? Uh, look at that thing! You work for us now. You trying to embarrass us or something? I'm sorry. I could never afford to buy fancy clothes, so... Follow me. Come on, pick one out. I need you to look sharp. What the? This place looks like a store! Uh, but I don't know anything about clothes. Oh, oh, Riku, you're so lame. Here, try this. Oh, looks good. Wow, is this really me? I feel like a new person. Hey, Riku, what's with your hair? You can't go out looking like that. I'm sorry. Come on, go get a haircut. This will do. Roger that. Wow! Is this really me? Wow! Alright, looks good. At first, I was pretty upset that my dad sold me off to some rich family, but I was starting to like this. You gotta eat more. We can't have you passing out on us. <laughs> Go on! How stupid are you? No wonder you dropped out of high school. Here, we can't have you embarrassing us in public. I'll teach you. Take note. For a while, my job was to eat well and study. They bought me all kinds of stuff too. Smartphones, a computer, books. This was all too good to be true. Riku, you listening? Oh, sorry. Arisa Ogane, 20, always yelled at me. But I knew she was looking out for me. She even bought me this computer. I wish she was a bit nicer though. Oh, a call from Mai. Riku, I told you to pick up on the first ring. My Ogane, 19, always held at me too. But she took good care of me as well. She got me this smartphone and taught me about pop culture and stuff. I was learning a lot from her too. Riku, who are you talking to? Focus. Oh, sorry. Riku, who are you talking to? Stay focused. Huh? Oh, uh. Riku, who are you with? Is someone in your room? What? No! <laughs> Riku, who are you with? Huh? Nobody. <laughs> Marisa and Mai. It sounds like they both want control over me or something. I don't know. Yo, Riku! Wow, Dad? What the hell? I hear you're living it up. The hell do you want? <laughs> Relax. Listen. Do they give you money too? Look at those nice clothes. You're my son, so if you could throw me some cash every now and then, that'll be really nice. What? Are you being serious right now? Don't talk to me like that. I'm your father. I raised you. No, you didn't. We raised him, not you. Arisa, my. We're fighting over him as we speak. Huh? Um, what's going on? I'm kind of lost. Allow me to explain. Wow! As you know, the Oganes had two daughters, but no son. Which means whoever marries their daughter will take over the family business in the future. But a good man is so hard to find. So I made a suggestion. What if we find someone we can mold into the perfect husband? Why? Uh, everyone thought it was a good idea, including Mr. Ogane. So we started looking into some candidates. Then we found you, Riku. You hit the jackpot, son. But then, why were they so mean to me? <laughs> we were just teasing you. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, I... You're doing well. Keep it up, son. You're going to be the next CEO. Keep at it. So, who do you like better, me or her? Uh, to be honest, I can't choose. What's that supposed to mean? Riku, I'm not giving up on you, so... I'm not giving up on him either. And so I got a second chance at life. What'll happen to me next? Only time will tell. My name is Taru. I'm just your average university student.
with nothing much for anyone to envy. Except one thing. My girlfriend, Micah. She's got the looks of a model or an actress. And she has her sights on becoming a model. She's even famous around our school for appearing in magazines. There's only one problem. Who does this girl think she is? If you're ugly, then you shouldn't be taking selfies. <sighs> Here we go again. Micah has a lot of confidence in her appearance. And she's got a big head because of it. She can be really cruel to people who she thinks are beneath her. Especially girls. As someone who doesn't like to criticize or look down on people, this is one thing about Micah that I wish I could change. If it weren't for her personality, she'd be perfect. I guess it's up to me to talk to her about it. Oh, Toru, I decided to take an audition for that clothing company that I love. Oh, really? Well, I'm sure you'll get it. Of course I'll get it. So, yeah, we still have some things to work out. But other than that, I was enjoying my life with Micah. And then, one day, something happened. It was when Micah and I were on the way to buy her a birthday present. Are you really going to buy that bag for me? Yeah. What happened? Are you okay? Oh my god! What should we do? Call an ambulance? What do you think you're doing? Let's go! It's my birthday, remember? You don't even know her. Aren't we going to go buy my birthday present? What? Uh, yeah, of course we are, but first we've got to... Are you going to choose someone you don't know over your girlfriend? And don't forget we have a reservation at the restaurant. If we don't show up, we'll have to pay a cancellation fee. Uh, yeah, that's true. But we can't just leave her like this. I'll pay the cancellation fee and I'll take you there another day. Whatever. Just give me the money for the bag and restaurant. What? I'll get the present myself and go to the restaurant with someone else. You were gonna pay anyway, right? You might as well just give me the money. Are you serious? How can you say something like that when someone needs our help? Well, take the money and go! Well, good luck taking care of strangers. I had no idea that Micah was this far gone. Just because you're pretty doesn't mean you can get away with anything. Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No, please don't. Can you call this number instead? It's my parents' number. Okay. You're gonna be alright. Your parents are on their way here now. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I feel much better. But don't you need to go after your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. No, that's okay. After seeing her attitude today, I can't be bothered. I think we're gonna have to break up. Oh, I'm so sorry that I caused you trouble. If it's all right with you, could you give me your contact information? I'd like to thank you at a later date. Her name was Rika. Thank you so much. Apparently, Rika was suffering from a chronic condition and had forgotten to take her medicine that day. That's why she had an attack. A little later, her parents arrived to pick Rika up. They were very grateful that I had helped their daughter. A few days later, Rika paid a visit to my house to thank me for helping her. Thank you so much for the other day. I've never had an attack like that before. But thanks to you, I was able to get through it all right. I was happy to help. After that, Mike and I broke up. Let's break up. I can't be with someone who can't think about anyone but themselves. Bye! That's it? That's all she has to say? However, the next day, I found out some shocking news. You're right about breaking up with her, man. Now she's dating Oda from economics class. Actually, they started dating while you guys were still together. Someone saw them going into a classy restaurant on her birthday. Oh, that's what she meant by someone else. I'm not sure of how much this is true, but apparently she had three other boyfriends. I guess with looks like those, she can get as many as she wants. So yeah, you're lucky you got away from her. What an awful person. It looks like all those rumors are true. In the following days, I heard a lot of stories about how Micah was dating a lot of guys. A few months later... Toru, you've got to help me. What do you want? At the modeling audition, she was there! What are you talking about? 
That woman that you helped in front of the department store. Apparently she's a famous designer. She was on the judges panel at the audition. My name's Micah. Thank you for seeing me today. Oh, long time no see. I'm Rika, one of the judges today. <laughs> you two know each other? Um, well, no, we don't. I broke up with that guy already. I didn't leave you there to be mean or anything. Leave you there? No, no, I didn't leave her, exactly. It was more like I was just passing by. I was so busy that day. I think we've reminisced about the past long enough. Let's begin the audition. So, why would you like to become a model? Um, well, uh, well... Just answer the question. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Just look at her. That woman remembered my face. If I don't do something, I'll fail the audition. You've got to talk to her or something. It's my dream to pass this audition and become a famous model. You saved her, right? She'll do anything you ask. I had no idea that Rika was a famous fashion designer. This is all your fault, right? You showed her your true colors. Oh, shut up and do something already. No way. This is your problem. You're crazy if you think I'll help. Come on, I'm your ex-girlfriend. It's pretty rich saying that after you cheated on me that whole time. What? Where did you hear? It's all over school. Everybody knows who you are. So it's no surprise that the rumors spread fast. Unsurprisingly, Micah failed the audition. Did you hear that Micah didn't pass the audition? After all that talk about how she could easily be a model, how embarrassing! <laughs> ah, how dare you talk about me! Everyone heard how Micah failed the audition, and she became a laughing stock around the school. But being the show-off that she was, Micah became even more reckless as a playgirl. Eventually, it became impossible for her to hide the fact that she had many boyfriends from her many boyfriends. Hey, who's that guy? What? Who am I? Who are you? What's going on, Micah? I guess this is why you haven't been meeting me lately. Hey, Micah! Tell me what's going on! Um, well... In the end, Micah's boyfriends all broke up with her. Rumors about what a terrible person she was were all over school. And eventually, nobody saw her around anymore. In fact, Micah took to wearing sunglasses and a mask at school to hide her face. In the end, she had to hide the source of all of her pride. Her face. It was her fault, of course, but I still felt a little bad for her. As for me... Rika, it's been a long time. What's up? Rika called me to tell me about what happened at Micah's audition. Rika said that she didn't fail Micah because of some grudge, but rather because she simply wasn't good enough for the job. I see. Well, I hope she at least learned something from this experience. By the way, are you dating anyone now? Uh, no. Why do you ask? Well, I was wondering if you'd like to have dinner with me. I'd love to. My name is Hajime, 29 years old. I work at a web design company where I design homepages for various companies. Oh, Mr. Shaijin! Yeah, of course I remember. How could I forget? I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. All right. Tomorrow. Same time. Okay. See you soon. I don't want to waste my day off. Where should I go? Hmm. Oh, wait. Where's my wallet? Hold on. Did I put my wallet away after I got home yesterday? Wait. Did I drop it on the way home from work yesterday? I need to stop my cards! Dang it! Who is it? I'm having a crisis here! Hello. I work at the entrance to the apartment, and I saw someone suspicious wandering around. I went to find out what she wanted, and she claims to have your wallet. Really? I'll be right over! I'm sorry. I really just wanted to deliver you your wallet. I'm so sorry. You're exactly right, though. I just found out that I dropped my wallet. Thank you. I'll handle it from here. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'm sorry. I know I'm dirty. I thought the police would arrest me because I look suspicious. 
I figured I'd just bring you your wallet. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Everything's in here. You really saved my day. I just got paid, so I withdrew a lot of money. But not a single penny is missing. Sorry. I'll head out now. Man, her clothes and hair are a mess. She also kind of stinks. I wonder if she has a place to stay. Wait, hold on! Let me repay you somehow. Sorry, I really didn't mean for any of this. I just wanted to bring you your wallet. Sorry, I'll get away from you, sorry. Relax! Are you hungry? You wanna grab some food? It's my day off, so I was actually just about to go out somewhere. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Sorry. Well, how about we go to a bath to freshen up? Taking a bath first thing in the morning can really help brighten your day. I quickly made plans for my Saturday, because I couldn't leave her alone. Do you mind if I swing by a store real quick? I think this would look good on you. It's been getting warmer. I'm sure those clothes are probably too hot for the season. Sorry. Sorry. It wouldn't make much sense to go to a bath and wash off if she was going to get back in the dirty clothes she was wearing now. I've never been to a public bath. Oh, me too! I didn't even ask for her name. I hope she's getting squeaky clean right now. I know she looked dirty, but she's probably gorgeous and elegant on the inside. Wait! What am I thinking? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, and you even brought me clothes. Oh, uh-huh. I'm a little surprised. You look completely different in nice clothes. Sorry. Oh, no! I meant it in a good way. Oh, you're hungry, right? Let's go grab lunch real quick. I'm sorry. You've really done a lot for me. You don't need to do more. You don't have to be so humble. How about we go to a nice, cheap store, then? I know plenty of stores that aren't too expensive, but have great food. Do you have anything you'd like to eat? Uh, well, ramen? I'm sorry. I saw your discount coupons when I was looking at your driver's license to figure out where you lived, and it looked delicious. Sorry. Of course! Let's go to a ramen place! I love ramen! Welcome! The miso ramen here is very down-to-earth and not fancy, but it definitely packs a punch. It's delicious. Right? I love ramen. I even have a group of friends dedicated to walking around and trying new stores. Me too. I loved ramen since I was a kid. My parents used to take me out to ramen stores often, so... I ate a lot of ramen. I'm sorry. I just remembered my past, and... I'm sorry. Why do you apologize so much? Can you tell me? I'm not sure. I think it's my fault. I caused a lot of people trouble because of my own stupidity. Then I lost my house. But I think it's actually that person who regrets it the most. You should stay at my place today. Don't worry. I won't do anything weird. If you want, you can use the room with a lock on the inside so you can relax too. I can't let a young woman out on the streets, but I do have my own reasons to keep you at my house, too. The next day. Hey, Raraji! Sorry to keep you waiting. I heard you were gonna take me to a nice hole-in-the-wall ramen joint. I couldn't wait! Ramen is one of my passions. I think you'll like it. This is Kenzo Zaijin. I became friends with him when I worked on his homepage. We hit it off because we truly enjoyed ramen. And we've been friends ever since. This is delicious! It's got medium-large noodles, and the soup is a perfect fit with it. The fish flavoring also adds a nice touch. You've really liked ramen for a while, haven't you? You said you also took your daughter out often, right? You must be worried about your daughter. Come on, Hajime. I just wanted to forget about life's worries I need a nice bowl of ramen today. Of course I'm worried about her, but I can't find her. I've looked everywhere. As long as she's happy, then I don't mind where she is. 
That's what I pray for every day. If I had just thought to listen to her a little more back then, not a day goes by that I don't regret it. I wish I could see her again, just to apologize. Sakura. Dad. There's a reason I want to keep you at my house. You're Kenzo Zhaijen's daughter. Sakura, right? Uh, how do you know my name? Mr. Zhaijen has shown me photos before. Apparently, you eloped about half a year ago and never came back. What happened to the guy? About two months ago, I woke up to an empty bed and a note. He said that he had reached his wit's end and was going to go home. I think both of us were too young. We weren't good at work because we had no experience. So we kept getting let go and... I definitely couldn't pay for rent after I became single. Then I got chased out of my apartment and... But your partner left, right? Why didn't you just go home? I can't go home. I was so mean to my father. I'm sorry, Dad. Sakura! I know I said some terrible things about you not being my real father. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sakura! It's okay! I forgive you! It's okay. Sakura was Mr. Zhaijen's wife's daughter. After his wife passed away, he took great care of her. However, they got in an argument after she talked about getting married to her boyfriend. Sakura said some unforgivable words, so she felt like she could never go home. Hey, Hajime! Long time no see! Mr. Hajime, long time no see. The soy pork broth ramen here is to die for! Afterwards, I thought about how something as simple as ramen brought the long-lost relationship between father and daughter back to life. Strange story, huh? Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.